Hey guys, welcome back to JH Reels. I'm kicking off the new rod building project by machining tooling to form the snake guides. This is a part most people will buy when building custom fly rods, but I figured if we were already doing all the machining for the reel, might as well machine the tools for building the snake guides. So follow along as we go from start to finish. I've pre-prepared two half inch thick pieces of one inch aluminum stock to use for this video. These two pieces will become the end blocks that hold the wire stock and the center shaft in place. The first feature will be a quarter inch flat bottom hole in the center. The depth of this hole, along with the length of the center shaft, is what determines the length of the guide. The DRO really helps to find the center of this part quick. Next, we'll drill a 60 thou hole offset from the center to receive the wire stock. The offset of this hole determines the total height of the guide off the rod blade. To copy the features over to the other end block, we'll microwave the original part for a few minutes. This is similar to EDM cutting. Next, I cut down some quarter inch brass rod to use as the center shaft. One piece will be left alone, and the other will be turned down to make smaller guides. Forming the guides is pretty simple. Select the center shaft you want to use and assemble the end blocks around it. Next, pass the stainless steel spring wire through the holes, leaving some excess hanging out of both ends. While holding inward pressure on both sides, twist the two halves 360 degrees. You'll need to go a little ways past to account for the spring back. When it's done, you can just slide the pieces apart and get your part out. You might notice the extremely precise measurements I took here for the length of the guide feet. And then I found that piece in the next room over. So I found one flaw with my tools that it gives a bit of a bow to the guide feet. I'm pretty sure this is because of the oversized hole holding the wire stock. It's easy enough to straighten it in the vise though. This stuff has got a lot of spring to it. Instead of flattening the guide feet like in production guides, I opted to shape them in the grinder. I just don't really have the tools to flatten them properly and this seems to work pretty well. And then that final shape was just cleaned up with a bit of sandpaper.
And that's a finished guide. There are a couple things I think I'm going to change if I make another set of guide tooling. I made the end caps from aluminum because that's what I had in the shop and it's easy to work with. But I found out after making quite a few guides that the small hole starts to lose its sharp edge. This isn't crucial, it just increases the radius of the initial bend on the foot. And like I said before, it would really benefit from a precise hole matched to the wire diameter. But for me, I'd rather use the bits I've got and just touch it up afterwards. More wide building videos will be on the way, so subscribe to get notified when they're up. Thanks for watching.